So in today's video, I am going to be showing y'all all of my affordable perfumes. Some of these perfumes are from Victoria's Secret. Some of them are celebrity perfumes. And some of them are no-name brand perfumes. But trust me, y'all, these are some heavy hitters. Some of these perfumes are my favorites. They outlast and outbeat some of my luxury fragrances. So if you want to see my collection, keep on watching. Before I show you all of the affordable perfumes in my perfume collection, I have to shout out my website, Pink Fluff Empire. Dot com we do sell all natural body care products and cosmetics because y'all you cannot be on fleek with the perfume and your hygiene not be on point okay so we do sell all natural body care products sugar scrubs we sell soaps y'all make sure you get your hands on my products because they are bomb i will have a 10 percent off discount code down below so make sure y'all use it all right so i'm going to start off with the perfumes that are actually on the perfume tray first and I do have some luxury scents mixed in, but I am going to invest in another perfume tray. So this perfume is the Rogue or Rouge Love by Rihanna. And I haven't had this one for long. If you are subscribed to my channel, if you're not, go ahead and subscribe. Then you know I haven't had this perfume for that long. And y'all, I have been using this. This is definitely a nice feminine scent it is definitely on the floral side i'm not sure that this will stand up in the colder months but y'all i love this i feel like in the springtime this is going to be amazing i really love this i use this mainly in the summertime but y'all this smells so good i have used so much of this perfume and i do use my affordable perfumes a little bit more than my luxury perfumes just because i wear them to work and then sometimes i do wear them on special occasions but i wear my affordable perfumes on an everyday basis my luxury perfumes i really just wear those on special occasions so this perfume is definitely on the white floral side. If you do love feminine scents, I definitely suggest that you test this out. This scent would definitely have to be in my top 10. This is one of my favorite scents of all times. This smells so good. The longevity is really good on this perfume. And also, it's a very unique scent. It smells amazing. Everyone that has tried this because of me says it is very unique. And it kind of has to grow on you. But y'all, when I first smelled this, I loved this perfume. It definitely reminds me of a niche perfume because it is very different. I don't have anything in my perfume collection that smells like this. And y'all, this bottle was like $20. Only complaint I have is that the words actually rubbed off. So you can see it a little bit, but a lot of the words did rub off of the packaging other than that y'all this smells so good this smells so rich it smells so niche i really love this a lot of people don't like the bottle but i absolutely love the bottle this will have to be in my top 10 probably in my top five i really love unique smelling perfumes and this one smells amazing this is victoria's secret intense and I actually really like this scent. This scent is very sexy. But uh, I just really love this bottle. I love it. It smells really good. And this is definitely a good date night scent. It is sweet, but it does have a hint of coconut. I really love this scent. And it does last for a pretty long time if I do spray heavy. With this one, I do have to spray a little bit heavier on the scent. This perfume I have is Victoria by Victoria's Secret. And this is in a special edition packaging. So this scent is definitely on the floral side. But you do get a hint of sweet. But it's not too sweet. But you really get that muskiness in this perfume. I really do love this perfume and I love the packaging. I actually got this as a gift a while back, a couple of years ago. And y'all, I still love this scent. I actually have gone through one body mist and I actually have a small travel size body mist of this perfume. I used to keep the body mist in my car. This one smells really good. Definitely a nice, sexy scent. I love this one. This one gets like a 10 out of 10 stars. Normally, I don't care for Victoria's Secret's perfumes. Definitely a hit and miss. Sometimes they just don't last that long. And when I do buy the perfumes from Victoria's Secret, I make sure that they last a long time before I actually purchase them. 
So yeah, I really do love these two scents. They are just bomb to me. I really love them. Definitely nice date night scents have another rihanna scent i do have almost all of her fragrances i think i'm just missing one and that's riri so this one is crush by rihanna first of all the packaging is just to die for i love the packaging it is really really cute i really love rihanna's fragrances because i feel like her bottles are really cute the fragrances do last for a decent amount of time some of them last all day and some of them last about six to eight hours and i don't know they're very unique so i really like them so this scent is definitely on the gourmand side i really do like this one i love the packaging i love the scents so this perfume for me i wear this in the colder months i wear this in the hotter months i can wear this any time of the year and it smells so so good it's not like a in your face floral it's more so like a gourmand floral it smells so so good so y'all make sure you pick up rihanna crush this is definitely a great gift to give someone definitely if they're into perfumes and i actually have the roller ball as well i just feel like her packaging is just amazing so this is how the roller ball looks and this is how the perfume looks really love the perfume bottle i feel like it looks really really cute on my vanity i say heat wild orchid now at first i didn't care for this scent then it kind of grew on me and now i don't like it again the coconut note in this that is just way too strong the top note is coconut and i just wish this scent had more orchid i wish it was a little bit more floral a little bit more musky but to me i only really smell the coconut in this scent and honestly i don't like it anymore so as it dries down you still end up smelling the coconut scent so when you first spray it on you smell straight coconut as you keep wearing the perfume you still smell like a strong scent of coconut i may just end up selling this on makari i really love the bottle that's why i don't want to sell it but i don't know i'm just not in love with this scent i'm just not in love with it anymore i did like it but now i'm just like mm -mm. so i do have two Katy perry scents so the first one i have is killer queen and i just really love this packaging i feel like this packaging is so adorable um it does come with a stand but i don't like the stand i like to just leave it like this and i feel like it looks so cute so this is killer queen and this is definitely on the sweet side this is definitely a mature sweet i feel like anytime you see a red bottle normally it's going to be kind of a sexy scent this is definitely a grown woman sweet I have the blue one and i believe this is called killer queen royal revolution now this one is a little bit more so on the floral side not really sweet but this one is definitely in your face floral i really do love both of these perfumes and when i mix them together i kind of get a sweet fresh and clean scent i don't know if that makes sense but that's what i smell and i did get a compliment when i wore both of these together i really love these two perfumes i love the bottle i love the juice this one is very much so floral this one is very much so sweet but both of them are mature scents and that's what i like um they do have a purple one but the purple one is so hard to find y'all it is like so hard to find and i did try to find it on makari and for like a little small one ounce bottle they were charging like 20 dollars, and i was like oh no i don't need it if you're starting your perfume collection these are some great perfumes to start off with because they're affordable and they smell really good you get the floral and you get the sweets so the next perfume i have i have had this for a very long time and i have started back using this because it is the colder months this is lady gaga i think this is fame yeah this is lady gaga fame i love the packaging the packaging is just amazing um this is definitely a baby powder scent i love this scent normally i don't like baby powder scents but this smells so fresh and so baby powdery. 
it smells really really good normally i don't like baby powder but this is done right because it's like a mature fresh baby powder scent so when i first got this perfume i do feel like the longevity was a little bit better but i have had this perfume since i started really wearing perfumes about four years ago um so yeah i've had this perfume for a long time now the perfume doesn't last that long i remember i could spray like four to five sprays and i'll be good all day now i feel like this fragrance doesn't last three hours probably because i've had it so long i do want to pick up a fresh bottle because i really love this fragrance i love the bottle it is just so cute so the next perfume I have is from Rihanna. Y'all know I love my girl. So this is Rihanna Nude. So this fragrance just smells very inviting to me. It smells very feminine. Well, I love this scent because I feel like anywhere you go, you can get away with this scent. If you're going to a meeting, you can wear this. If you're going on a date, you can wear this. If you're just running to the grocery store, you can wear this. Definitely smells skin-like. I do smell a little bit of vanilla and cashmere in this. Y'all, I really do love this one. I'm about right here. And when I go fragrance shopping, I'm just going to go ahead and get all of the big bottles of her first collection. So I feel like Rihanna's perfumes are definitely good quality. I feel like you get more than what you pay for. Um, Her perfumes do last for a very, very long time. I know some of y'all tell me her perfumes are just way too strong and you prefer the body mist. So if you don't like strong perfumes, if you don't want something that's gonna last all day, um, just go ahead and pick up the body mist instead of the perfumes. I prefer the actual perfumes because I like to get my money worth i like for everyone to smell me in the room you can go light-handed with the perfume you don't have to spray a lot if you want to just spray one to two sprays you can i am definitely a heavier girl when it comes to perfumes i am very heavy-handed so i like to go on with about five to six sprays and i know i'll be good all day so the next perfume i have is also from rihanna and this is kiss by rihanna and i didn't think i would like this perfume because when this perfume first came out i I smelled it and I thought that it wasn't gonna last for a long time now that I have it y'all I love this perfume so this is how the bottle looks I did get a tester but I kind of regret getting the tester because I wish I would have gotten the top because it would look so cute right next to the crush I am going to go ahead and get the Riri but honestly i may just go ahead and purchase another bottle of this one but with the top this one is definitely a nice white floral scent this one is definitely a feminine scent i want to say this is the best feminine scent out of my whole collection if you really love feminine scents then you're gonna love this this is definitely on the white floral side but y'all it's meant y'all let me go ahead and spray it smells so good and you do get a plum note in this that smells so so good i really love the dry down on this the dry down smells amazing i love it when you first spray it but the dry down is just very feminine i really love it you do get a plum note in this it smells really good it's a very feminine scent y'all if you love feminine scents get you this kiss by rihanna it smells amazing this is one of my favorite scents especially for the spring and summertime y'all this is it it smells so so good i can't wait until it warms up a little bit because this is going to be a showstopper it smells so feminine it smells so good this perfume i have is also from victoria's secret and this is a victoria's secret kiss this is a auto toilet and it came in a bottle like this hopefully y'all can see and as you can see i'm like halfway done with this y'all i actually picked this up when i first picked this up i did not like the scent it was like seven dollars on the semi-annual sale and i was like girl just give it to me so this was seven dollars i did get this a while ago so yeah i'm pretty sure they don't have this scent anymore but i really love this scent this scent kind of reminds me of the lady gaga fame that's why i like this so much because it is definitely a powdery 
scent. It's such a classy, powdery scent. Um, I know a lot of people like these Chanel perfumes, but to me, Chanel perfumes just smells very old and very bitter. I don't know. I just don't like them. But if I want a powdery scent and something that's going to smell really good and really classy, I go for this. I know the bottle may seem like it probably will be like a orchid or something like that. But this is definitely a powdery scent. I've had this for a while and it still works like a charm. So I recently wore this perfume at a pop-up shop that I attended and I got so many compliments off of this perfume. People just telling me I smell really fresh. So I really do love this perfume and this is Kiss by Victoria's Secret. I know they don't sell this anymore but... I wish they would come out with another version because this one smells really, really good. It's Rebel Flare by Rihanna. And I've been using this a lot. Smell this fragrance. I feel like this is how Chanel should smell. And that's why I love Rihanna because you really get your bang for your buck. Like this was only $10. This fragrance lasts all day. Now this fragrance is definitely for the colder months because this lasts all day. It is definitely a heavy hitter. This smells so, so good. This is definitely on the warm side. Definitely some warm florals in there. You do get a hint of vanilla. This is a great date night scent or going out with your girlfriend scent. This one smells really, really good and really sexy. I love, love, love this one. Perfume is sweet, but it's definitely on the warm side as well. This one smells really good and her perfumes are just blended so so well this is one of my favorites so another one of my favorites from rihanna would have to be rebel by rihanna and this is the one in the red packaging and y'all i love this perfume so much that i already have a backup look y'all i haven't even opened this perfume because i love it that much this one would have to be in my top three this one smells so good and it has a coffee note in this y'all it has a coffee note in this and a vanilla note. This is definitely for the warm months as well, but I'm not going to lie to y'all. So I have worn this in the dead of summer just because I am addicted to this scent. I honestly wear this scent year around, but it is definitely a winter fall scent. This scent is blended to perfection it is blended to perfection there is nothing on the market that smells like this this is definitely in my top three perfumes so this perfume is only ten dollars you can get the one ounce for ten dollars or you can get the body mist if you don't want a strong perfume you can definitely go with the body mist i love the perfume y'all this is definitely a showstopper this smells really good it lasts for a long long time you're gonna smell this on your clothes when you go do laundry and you don't need that many sprays of this one this one will have to be the best celebrity fragrance that lasts the longest nothing lasts as long as this when it comes to celebrity fragrances this one lasts all day and you don't need that many sprays so the next perfume i have is taylor by taylor swift and i have had this perfume for a while i've had it for a while i've used a good bit of this perfume definitely a great work scent you can definitely smell that gourmand in here. Definitely a work appropriate scent. It's not too floral as well. I feel like this fragrance is perfect for work. Definitely if you work in retail, everybody's going to be asking you what you have on. And it is a good conversation starter. So I really do love this perfume. I have used this a lot. Um, I am trying to get rid of some of my perfumes and um body mist because i've had them for a while and i don't want them to expire i believe i've had this one for maybe three or four years so i just need to go ahead and use it up but i've got so many compliments off of this perfume throughout the years this one smells really really good i love love the bottle the bottle is just so cute it did come with some pearls right here but 
I don't know where they're at because I've had it for so long. Find some really good affordable celebrity perfumes. Make sure y'all hit up TJ Maxx because they have some really good perfumes. That's where I got this perfume from. So y'all make sure you check out Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So this is the last Rihanna scent. I promise y'all. This is Rebel Flare Love Always. This is my most complimented scent. I do have luxury fragrances in my collection. Sometimes I do get compliments, sometimes I don't. But every time I wear this, I get compliments. Every single time I wear this. Definitely a warm scent. This does have a strong scent of plum. The first thing you smell is that plum. And you also get red berries. But it is a sweetness to this perfume that is just so good. Like, I don't know. It just smells amazing. I feel like this is blended really well. You do get those red berries mixed with the plum. And you do get a hint of vanilla. The red berries and the plum in this perfume smell so, so good. This is definitely not a fruity type of scent. This is definitely a dark, mysterious type of scent. It smells really... I'm telling you, you just have to smell this, y'all. You have to smell this. Um, I am about right here. And I haven't had this perfume that long. I actually wore this to work like three days. And I was like, I have to stop wearing it to work. Because everybody was coming up to me, harassing me, asking me what fragrance I had on. And trying to social distance right now. So I don't have time for that. Which, this is not a work scent. Let me just say that. This is not a work scent. Um, but I wanted to test it out and wear it. So I can give you guys a good review. So, yeah. I, I wore it to work. I wish I would not have wore it to work. Going on a date. This is a nice date scent. This is a nice scent if you just want to be grown and sexy. This is a great, great scent. So, and it's affordable. I believe this whole bottle was like $20. Actually, I think it was $16 or $17 because this is a tester bottle. Y'all, I have to pick up another bottle of this. This smells so good. And like I said before, nobody blends fragrances the way Rihanna blends fragrances her fragrances are blended so so well so next fragrance i have is actually from wonder woman so this scent i did fall in love with this scent but i think i'm going to go ahead and put it in my memory box because my mom brought me this perfume and i've used a good bit of it but when i get older i just want to always have this scent in my little memory box so i can spray it and i can think of my mom so yeah I want to just keep it. I don't want to use all of it because I want to keep it for memory purposes. But I really love this scent. This scent, I know it's kind of awkward because it is a Wonder Woman scent. But you can find this, I believe, at Hot Topic. But this is a really nice blueberry musky scent. It's a blueberry musky scent. And I don't know. It's just mixed really well. I really do love it. But it is definitely going in my memory box. Um, As you can tell, y'all, I definitely loved it. Because I'm like halfway done with this perfume. I would go ahead and use it. But I want to keep it in my little memory box. But this smells so good. And I know y'all probably are like blueberry mixed with musk. But I'm telling you, y'all, it smells really, really good. So this is the last perfume. And then I'm going to get into a couple of travel size perfumes. I know I have held y'all up for the longest. So this is Crystal. Sh I'm sorry, y'all. It's been a long day. This is Shine Crystal. And this is a perfume. And this is a 3.3 ounce bottle. So when I first saw this, I picked this up at TJ Maxx. I remember. Yes, girl, I remember. So, I thought the packaging was really cute. I sprayed it. I wasn't in love with it, but I was like, I'll get it. Um, As you can see, I've used a good bit of this. So, every time I wear this fragrance, I get compliments. And you do not have to spend a lot of money on fragrances. Um, You can definitely find some hidden gems at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. You can find some hidden gems, y'all. You do not have to spend money on YSL you don't have to spend money on Lancome Versace and I really wish I wouldn't have brought those but I'm not even gonna go there 
you can definitely find some perfumes for under $15 that are banging. I believe this one was $10.99 at TJ Maxx. And y'all, this one, I always get compliments on. It kind of reminds me of a key lime pie. I am not into like perfumes that smell like food. But it is something about this scent. This scent smells really, really good. The dry down on this perfume is OMG amazing. You do get like a musky citrusy scent when it dries down. I've had somebody tell me that this scent smells better than this Baccarat. I wore the Baccarat one day and it was like, oh, you smell good. You smell good. The next day, I wore, no cap, y'all, I wore this perfume, and they were like, you know that perfume smells better than the one you had on yesterday, right? And I was like, for real? And it was like, yeah, this one smells way better, and you can really, really smell it. So I was like, oh my God. So it made me love the perfume even more. Every time I put on this perfume, I get compliments. This is how the perfume looks. So I'm definitely going to try some more scents out from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Definitely a great buy. And I feel like a lot of people sleep on some of the, I don't want to say knockoff brands, but brands that are not popping, I guess that's what you say. Um, but this one smells really good. So I do want to try some more brands that are not like the regular brand perfume. We are almost done, y'all. So, I only have a couple of travel size perfumes. I could put in my roller balls in some of my samples, but I'm not because I feel like this video is going to be too long already. This perfume is Kat Von D Saint. And I really don't care for this perfume. I think I'm going to sell it on my Macari site. So if you didn't know, you can sell perfumes on Macari. So I'm probably going to end up selling this perfume just because it really doesn't do anything for me and it doesn't last that long at all. Definitely on the floral side. It just wasn't my favorite. So I do have that one in my collection. Now this one would have to be one of my favorites, but it just doesn't last long. This is the Kat Von D Center. And a lot of people do not like this scent. They like the white one better, which I don't understand because to me, the white one, I don't know if you like florals, then yeah, which I like florals. It just didn't do anything for me. This one smells like YSL Mon Perry. That's why I want to keep this one. And I really want to get the one ounce bottle because the bottle is so cute. It's so cute. I really love the one ounce bottles. But I'm definitely going to keep this one. It doesn't last that long, but I really love the scent. And it smells like YSL. So I'm going to keep that one. The next one I have is actually a scent bird scent. And this is in Full Bloom Blush by Kate Spade. I'm not a Kate Spade fan. I'm not a fan of the perfumes. I really don't care for the perfumes. I just feel like they just don't last that long. But I can say out of all of the Kate Spade perfumes, this one probably is the best. Um, And this one is the blush. So make sure you get the In Full Bloom blush. It just doesn't last that long for me. And y'all know me. I like perfumes that last all day. This one definitely does not. So I do have that one. It's okay. It's not all that. So that is it for my affordable perfume collection. If you have not checked out my luxury perfume collection, I will leave it on the screen somewhere right here. Thank you so much for rocking with me. I love y'all so much. So make sure you give this video a big like and also make sure you comment your favorite affordable fragrance down below. Make sure you shop my website pinkfluffempire.com for my all natural body care products and I will see y'all on my next video. Thank you so much for tuning into Pink Fluff Empire.